It's easy to see the importance of understanding the rules in relation to cost management, given the draconian sanctions involved for a failure to comply. Under CPR 3.14, a party which fails to file a budget despite being required to do so, we treat as having filed a budget comprising only the applicable court fees. In the context of a single case, that would be a very bad situation. In the context of a raft of cases dealt with by a firm, that could potentially be catastrophic. So we immediately see how important it is to understand the rules and make sure that they are complied with. Cost management applies to all Part 7 multi-track claims subject to some limited exceptions. Cost management doesn't apply to a case which is commenced after the 22nd of April 2014 and is valued at more than £10 million. It also doesn't apply to cases which are commenced after the 6th of April 2016 where a claim is made by or on behalf of a minor. That exemption continues to apply after the minor attains majority unless the court orders awards. Budgeting also doesn't apply to cases which are subject to fixed or scale costs and doesn't apply where the court otherwise orders. If we look at Practice Direction 3E, we see that in cases where the claimant has a limited or severely impaired life expectancy, then the court will ordinarily make an order disapplying budgeting. It is important to remember though that until the court actually makes that order, the rules still do apply if you do have to comply with them. In relation to cases which fall outside budgeting, they can still have budgeting imposed on them. Per paragraph 5 of Practice Direction 3E, we specifically reminded that budgeting may be particularly relevant to other types of cases, and particularly in relation to personal injury and clinical negligence proceedings with a value over £10 million. What about a situation though where parties want to apply budgeting to a case which it doesn't necessarily apply to? If we look at Practice Direction 3E again, parties should consider and discuss at an early stage whether cost budgeting ought to be applied, and the court will ordinarily make an applying budgeting if both parties to the action consent to it. Next time we'll be looking at when you have to file and serve your budget and looking at some cases in relation to relief from sanction. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.